Good day everyone! Welcome to another episode of Ruby Mornings. In today's episode of Art in Every Heart, I would be talking about a painting done by Carlos Bato Francisco, an award-winning national artist for visual arts. The painting is called Pagunlan ng Pagagamot sa Pilipinas, and it is a group of four large-scale paintings depicting healing practices in the Philippines from pre-colonial times to the modern period. It was a commissioned painting in 1953 by the director of the Philippine General Hospital and these oil on canvas paintings measure 2.92 meters in height and 2.76 meters in width and were displayed in the main entrance hall of PGH for over five decades. However, it was transferred to the National Museum in 2011. The first painting is pre-colonial. One highlighted element here is the girl who I assume is a shaman and surrounding her are people who seem to be the chief of the village. A pig can also be seen in the painting which seems to be an offering to supernatural beings and there are also people bowing and playing instrument as it may be a way to pay respect to a supreme being wishing for a cure or good health. Next is the colonial period where a Spanish priest can be seen holding a plant and one studying it since the spread of herbal medicine took place the colonial period. It can all be seen, also be seen that there are people worshipping or praying to God or different superstition beings since there are some unusual beings in the painting like Mananangal and there is also a house which look like built from clouds which can symbolize the house of God. Next is the American period. It can be seen that there is an improvement in the medical world and there are doctors checking up patients and treating people which I assume were affected during the war since a battlefield can be seen in the background. Infrastructure like hospital can all be seen, also be seen in the painting. Lastly, modern times, which is the medicine we know today based on the painting. What fascinates me in this artwork is how Bottom used clouds and even plants to continue the story from period to period. If you observe closely, you can see he relates it from one period to another and after thoroughly understanding the painting, it left me wondering, since art is evolving and unending, can this work be continued by future painters with more futuristic approach in medicine? Who knows? And that's it for today's episode of Art in Every Heart. See you again for more exciting piece of work waiting for us.